Adjectives. Adjectives are words that describe nouns or people, places, animals, or things. They make reading more interesting and exciting. When we use adjectives in our writing, it also becomes more interesting and exciting. Take this sentence for example. There are a lot of white, fluffy clouds in the sky. The words white and fluffy are adjectives. They tell about the noun, which are clouds. White and fluffy describe how the clouds look. A trick to help you think of good adjectives is to use your five senses. Let's look at this picture of a slice of watermelon. Write an adjective for each of the five senses. Think of what the watermelon looks like, what it may taste like, feel like, smell like, and sound like. When I use my sense of sight, I can see the red, black, and green on the watermelon. When I use my sense of taste, I can taste the juicy, sweet watermelon. When I use my sense of touch, I can feel the wet and smooth watermelon. When I use my sense of smell, I can smell the sweet watermelon. And when I use my sense of hearing, I can hear the crunchy watermelon as someone eats it. Using our five senses is an excellent way to help us think of different adjectives to make our writing more interesting. Another way to use adjectives is to describe the shape, size, or number of the noun or nouns. For example, the round ball rolled across the floor. This describes the shape of the ball. The huge ball rolled across the floor. This describes the ball's size. And finally, three balls rolled across the floor. This describes the number of balls. Shape, size, and number are all adjectives that describe a noun. A and an are both adjectives because they describe the number of the noun. When we use a or an, we are describing one noun. For example, a mouse ran to get the cheese. An elephant is eating peanuts. We can also use adjectives to compare two or more nouns. When we compare two nouns, we add er to the end of the adjective. For example, Steve is taller than Joe. We are comparing two people, Steve and Joe. So we add er to the adjective tall. When we compare more than two nouns, we add the letters est to the end of the adjective. Steve is the tallest boy on the baseball team. We are comparing all of the team members, so we add est to the end of the adjective tall. Let's try a couple more. Which of these two adjectives completes the sentence? That's right, softer, because we are only comparing two pillows. We would say, this pillow is softer than that pillow. What about this sentence? Which adjective completes the sentence? That's right. Softest, because we are comparing all of the pillows on the bed. We would say it like this. This pillow is the softest pillow on the bed.